Hey Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the middle of May. So it's mid-May for Capricorn. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Eight of Swords. This is removing an obstacle. Somebody has been in a bubble, and it's like the bubble is being popped, and now you are free. Free from this prison, you know. It's like coming out of a prison, perhaps, you know, coming out. Ooh. Oh, there's been a lack of growth in a situation. There's been no ambition, no drive, perhaps. Something could have gone south, but this is happiness, okay? Okay. Seeing the happiness, being happy, extremely happy. Ooh, three of swords. This is pain. <laughs> That's suffering. You see the tears? Look at those tears. Now, did I say this was for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? If I didn't, I just did. So, this is healing over a broken heart, perhaps. Because this is healing. Healing. Healing a painful situation. Sorry about that. Um, this is deepening a bond. Nine of Cups reversed. Six. There's been lack of reciprocation here. Somebody's been in a one-sided situation where they weren't receiving. But this is deepening some sort of bond. Things are starting to look up. There's curiosity here. Huh. Page of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Oh. Let me just shut that off. Hold on a second. <clears throat> One second. I don't use this thing very often. Um, so this is making a decision. Somebody is making a decision. This, there, this is. This is a very intelligent decision. Somebody is making a decision, I think, to go after happiness. Let me make sure that this is focused. Right now, if somebody isn't, isn't, oh, jeez, some crow things are falling all over the place. Anyway, um, this is, this is in your environment position. So right now, somebody isn't in a happy place, okay? But happiness is coming back. This is, this is what's happening, okay? You're not in a happy place. You're not receiving. You're not getting what you deserve. Somebody is making a decision, I think, to go after happiness. They've been curious about it, curious about a situation, probably observing, very observant here. Huh. Somebody is, is crying. They are. Somebody is crying over a... Maybe somebody's moving out. There could be a change in your home. Children could be leaving. There could be a child moving out or moving away. Um, there's unhappy news here. It's like not receiving a news that you wanted to hear. <laughs> That's not very really good, is it? I'm Capricorn Moon, by the way. Um... But Nine of Cups reversed, this is deepening a bond of some sort. Could be with a child, I'm not sure. This is coming out of darkness. Not putting in effort. Somebody's not putting in effort. 
They're not working hard enough. They may be giving up. Somebody may be giving up on a relationship. Honestly, honestly, somebody may be giving up on a relationship. It's like... There's, there's been some conflict. There's been some insecurities at home or something like that. It's been a really difficult time. And it's like, now it's like it's somebody is giving up. It's like moving on. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could literally be moving. Could be a child or children or somebody. Somebody may be moving. This is moving on. There's definitely children here. Absolutely, there's children here. So I think that we have somebody that is deciding to go down a new path. They're deciding to broaden their horizons. It could be you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. So um, there could be a change at home. Somebody could be moving out. Um... Somebody's making a decision to take a new path. I mean, that's what's going on here, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Yep, somebody is, is gone. It's like I'm leaving. Quickly. It's like a hasty decision. It's like I've got to go. I'm leaving. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Leo. You have Leo here. Um... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it really it doesn't really matter. I don't see water yet, though. So I feel like we have somebody that is taking action, like maybe even impulsive action. It's like they're leaving. They're leaving. They're not going to put in any more effort. The, the truth is coming out. It's like that you're, but you, somebody may bust your bubble. Or you're busting theirs. I mean, that bubble, somebody's bubble is about to get popped, and that is no joke. So that's what's happening here. <laughs> I don't like having my bubble popped. Anyhow. Um, yeah, this is grieving. This is sadness. So there could be some sadness. I'm sorry. I don't like to give you this reading, Capricorn. I do not. I absolutely, positively do not. Everybody knows I love Capricorn. One in particular. Or two. Probably two. Anyway, um, most definitely too. Um, so anyway, um, this is grieving over a loss. This really is. But there's another opportunity here that somebody can't see because they're focused on the loss. So there is some sort of pain. Okay, there's grieving. There's sadness. And somebody isn't realizing that there's another opportunity for happiness. It's like they're not see, realizing that everything happens for a reason. There's a purpose for this. There is an opportunity for love here, but you, you may not see it. You may not see it. Um, ooh. This is you needing to be practical. You need to be reasonable. You need to be, this is you needing to take responsibility at this time. You you may be needing to refocus. You probably need to ground yourself. You may need to restructure your home. Okay. Um, I feel like you probably known this was coming. You probably saw this coming. Your intuition probably told you that somebody was going to be leaving soon or something like that. And... I mean, this is a new love. This is a new opportunity for love. Maybe you know that this is happening because there's a new opportunity for love. I mean, I don't know what this is, but this is new love. You probably have a new love. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. And there's grieving over a loss. And you probably know that, that you know, it's time to take action. Somebody's taking action, whether it's the you or the, the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is moving. They're moving to a better place. It's a time of transition. This is, you know, where you actually go. And this is too. So somebody is 
really taking action and moving. They could be moving out, okay? Could be a child, because we have these children under here. These, there could be a child moving out or children moving out. There's no more passion there. There's no more growth. There's probably not even any sex, okay? I'm just being honest. If there's children, obviously there's not. But if there's a partnership, then, you know, there's no passion there. There's no passion. Um, and somebody's needing to follow their heart, you know, needing to nurture themselves. I gotta, I gotta follow my heart. I gotta do what's right for me. I gotta nurture myself. I gotta take care of me. I deserve love. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, this, their heart is telling them, their intuition is telling them that it's time for me to go. It's time for me to take action. I got to follow my heart. I can't, I can't, you know, hide this secret. I can't keep this secret anymore. I can't put in effort into this insecure situation. It's time for me to remove this obstacle and go after love. So I feel like we have somebody that is following their heart towards a new destination where there is love. And, you know, somebody's going to be crying over this. That is no joke, okay? But there's there's tears. There's there's tears that are going to be shed or there are tears that have been shed, okay? So, Capricorn, there. this is love. This is a new love. So there is a new love here. And you may just seize, this is seizing the opportunity. Whether you're seizing the opportunity or somebody that you're dealing with is seizing the opportunity, this is taking that love. This is, I'm taking it. I happened to look this card up recently just because I don't look up cards very often, but I did look up this one just recently. This is seizing the opportunity for love. So this is taking it. So somebody has decided to follow their heart and take go after love, you know, and that is, uh, it's, it's like there's a, a painful separation to, ex to go after this love. So I feel like we have, uh, an opportunity that is being taken, that is leading somebody down a new path because that's what their intuition into. These are both very intuitive. Their intuition is saying it's time, it's time, it's time. You deserve love. You deserve love. You deserve love. So I feel like that's exactly what this is somebody is leaving and it really opens up the path with the page of of pentacles it opens up that that path for somebody to go in a new direction so um we're gonna get you guys one of these or two of these i don't know why Somebody is letting go of their insecurities and following their heart. Could be you or the person that you're dealing with. And this could be a child. It could be a wife. It could be something like that. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Remember, I said there's a bond that has deepened under here. Or it's deepening. There's a bond that has deepened into love. And that is exactly what this is. And it's like you can't, you can't deny it. One more card. I was reluctant to look. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And that is what this is about. So I see you guys perhaps falling in love or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's following their heart, breaking free, taking back control of their life because there is love. That's all there is to it. I'm going after love. Somebody is making the decision. Their gut has said, I got to go after love. So whether it's you, there's moving here. Somebody could be moving, which allows the path to open. I don't know how that is, but it is what it is. So this may, bits and pieces may resonate. It may not resonate at all. Take what does and leave the rest. Talk to you next time. Good luck.